Oh, uh, Scott Silverman Bell coming to you from Sacramento, California, December 18, 2016, 7.01 in the morning. Perfect day to talk about sales. Even though it's 31 degrees outside here in Sacramento, it's still a perfect day to talk about sales. And we're talking about how you can build rapport in the sales process or just in life in general. And we're talking about formal, so we're on L, and that's location. So you could talk to people about locations. You could talk to them about where they're at, like if they got a really cool office, you could say, hey, this is you know, a pretty cool office, but chances are good. If it's a good location, the person knows about it. So there's a lot of houses out towards Folsom here, Auburn, uh, that they're on the, the hills and the cliffs and they overlook the Sacramento Valley. And if someone's got a good view, they bought that property for the view, chances are pretty, pretty good. So if you hit on this button too hard and you have this conversation about the view way too much, it's gonna, it's gonna be weird. So once again, we gotta stay within the social norms. And in any of these, if all you keep doing is going back to one of these, like it's a home base and it's a conversation that you can have, it's really unusual. And I rode with a sales guy one time and he couldn't get traction with the buyer. So his whole concept of building rapport was to kept going like, wow, you have an amazing view. Wow, you have an amazing view. And the first time he said it, it wasn't too bad. The second time the people were like, yeah, I know. The third time they're like, I know. And the fourth time they're like, I know. And the fifth time it just, it got ridiculous. He could not build rapport. He couldn't build traction. So he kept going back. You have an, and they, they had an amazing view, by the way. He just kept going back. You view, 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 view. So the danger in any of these is if you keep trying to hit the button too hard and have the conversation too much about the topic, it's gonna to create some challenges, okay? So location, where have you been? Where are you going? This is a cool location for your office. This is a cool location for your house. Your view's amazing. Like you could give a compliment. It doesn't always have to be a question. You could give a compliment about any things. Any of things, as long as you're sticking with the social norm and it's not weird and it's not unusual, right? You got a good looking family. Hey, you know what? I, I like the industry that you're in. Uh, I really think that the, the recreation things that you do are pretty cool. You know, a uh, nice Ferrari in the garage. Hey, I, I didn't know that you were associated with this group. That's awesome. And then location, you got to, like you could give a compliment for any of these. So location, there you go. Talk to them about where it is, what it's cool about it. But remember that if you're saying the same thing that everybody else does, you're gonna get put in the same category as everybody else. So the thing for you to do is figure out how to ask questions or tell stories about what they have that is different than what every other salesperson has done in the time that they've been buying stuff, okay? So there you go. L is for location. Now, if you could do a small favor for me, in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there's a subscribe button. You know what you gotta do, you gotta subscribe. And then last of all, you can send it out to all your friends via stumble upon Facebook, Twitter, Google+, or not even LinkedIn. Scott Sullivan Bell. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.